Hey there dudes and dudettes and welcome back to Subnautica with me Richie. Now we're continuing our adventures and in this episode we're going to check the surface and see I believe there's some mention of dry land around here. So we're going to explore that and see what there is to find there. Hopefully there's some more shiny technology. And then I think we've just about got enough to be able to go into the Aurora and fix everything. But first of all we'll be a little nosy around. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Hello, what do we have here? First of all, well, I've been picking up a lot of stuff on the databank that I've not had to skim through yet. So I'll start skimming through these briefly. Drooping stinger, zero synthetic cells detected. Conivis adaption to low life environments, low light environments. Rendering that dramatic charge in the 600 watt range. Yep, in other words, you don't want to get close to those things. Hmm, novel design. That's going to do much for me, that one. Leviathans reached back. I'll let you read through these at your own pace if you want to pause the video and have a skim through them. I've read most of these a few times before, so I'm not going to want to spend some time going through them. I'll just, I'll just um, show you a picture of it and let you read it. Pause if you want to read it. to download Aurora Survivors. Can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Okay, I guess I'll try and make my way up there then. If I can. Let's hopefully put some of the other logs playing in the background. Come in. This is Keen. 
Light pods attached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! No, oh, got it done in mostly in one piece. New blueprint acquired. So these look nice and edible. Hmm, nutritious. And yeah, is there anything else? Oh well. Integrating new PDA data. Well, that's number three. I want to see if I can find the other, the first two pads first of all. So we'll listen to more of the data banks. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. <coughs> and that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Bugger, please stick let me do his scan you. Thank you. I'll leave those there for now until I can actually got some way of farming them. I'm better off getting that from the inside. Survivors. Commission for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. <coughs> Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. New blueprint acquired. Now I'm back here. This is the first time I've 
I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Hmm, yeah, I guess. Blueprint acquired. A godsend. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maker. But I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. Oh. Okay, I think I've got everything I can, can take from this island for now. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll be heading off to the sea moth and heading back to back home. But no, well. Home for now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Of course, with all the things I've picked up along the way, I've got enough to build a decent, start building a decent base now. I've got um, once I get some grow beds in, I'll go back there, grab some seeds quickly, and zip back. So I think my next objective is I've now got two objectives. I can either go into the old water, scavenge a few bits from there, or I can start a base off. I think your best bet's probably gonna be to start a base off. Or at least get things rolling on it. I've also got Rex I can scavenge through as well, but I'll need the laser cutter for that. And also need the laser cutter for the Aurora as well. So yeah, I think the best bet's to is actually to start building a base up now. I need to find a good location for it, really. thing to do is to build a habitat builder and for that I'll need some copper I'll take some quartz though because I'll need that Is that enough for the habitat building? I 
think it will be actually. Maybe need a bit more silver as well. I just think we've got two pieces, so that should be enough for the wiring kit. Some table curl samples. Make sure just there. Just yet, or salt. Can we mainly just titanium? The question is, why do I build it? Somewhere near here is an obvious one because I can get power from there then. I don't want to build it too close to the um, to those vines because these stalkers will come nosing around. Vicinity of these, this light pod. Mm, I'm not too happy with this area, it's a bit iffy. Well, somewhere not too far from the light pod. Not too far from the vent. Slightly away from the away from the, those vines. I also don't want to build it too close to the gas pods because I think they might, they might wreck it. Now if I keep going in this direction I'm going to get radiation. Uh, I'll put a beacon down there so I can find it easily. Okay, it's 
So let's put another multi purpose room on top of that. Plan is I'll have bottom layer for like refining, manufacturing, storage, middle one for power generation. I'll put and maybe put some of those um some kind of refinery in there. And top one I'll use for living quarters. Don't I can keep back and relax. Trying to save battery power for now. Out. And um, nearly there now. At least at the start of it, anyway. at the bottom I think. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I think I'll do for a start. Um we'll need him what do we need for the guess with these the pieces. Um, want to build the ladder, obviously, to go between floors. Some new titanium, the bioreactor wiring kit and lubricant that we can... So that'll be some... Next thing to do is get some silver, some titanium. And then we'll start the farm off, I think, next. Now, titanium... Also get a scanner room as well up ASAP. Now I just need to find some sandstone. Yeah, better get oxygen actually. Silver, yes, beautiful. See so another silver now, and I'm going to crack it. There's got to be some around here somewhere. Titanium doesn't hurt. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run in circles here. I think I might have better look out here actually. Check about inventory space, yeah, plenty of space in the inventory, so nip out here and try and get some. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. No, maybe not. But maybe the reef back has some silver ore in it. Long 
shop, I'm sure he has some. Somewhere. to the depths again. Got to be some sandstone around here somewhere. Just need one piece of silver. Just one. Limestone, not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Bingo. I can see original there. Yep. New creature discovered. I'll take him for later on. No plans for him. So he's found two of them and I can start breeding them. Sometimes you just look at something and think it looks visually stunning. Yeah, I think it'd be better off getting a seamoth here. Explored that yet? Yeah. Let's leave it there. Go and grab a sea moth and go. And I'll come back there later on. And I reckon it will be something in there worth getting. Well, I'm probably better off getting the laser cutter actually first of all. Welcome aboard, Captain. It still doesn't hurt to sort of nosy anyway. Sure, I've not been around this wreck yet. I could be wrong though. See my fragment to the table there. Yeah, probably added 
to use a med kit. Alrighty then, so I think what I'll do now is have a, I think I've got enough to, to put a bioreactor inside and possibly some ladders even. So I can get the basics of the base first base started. First of them, um, many bases maybe. Or at least two, I plan to build at least two bases. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Production offline. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. <laughs> Oh, I've got to love the motivation you get. Come on. New creature discovered. So, here you go. Power restored. All primary systems online. Oh yeah. So I think that's not a bad, 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 um, bad do for this episode. We've got, we've got a basin starting, we've got power for it as well. Next, let's be expanding it at some point, and we can use this as a as a base for recharging and hopefully getting some food in at some point as well. It just reminds me I need to extend this base, and so I can actually make some space for growing stuff. That'll be in the next episode, so thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, I shall see you in the next episode.